Hello everyone, welcome to G4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see how to check coding standards by using PHP code snipper. Okay, so uh, let's go to your terminal. So I'm going to use this instance, localhost split stage. Go to your terminal and open the folder and you have to run a command called composer require Drupal slash coder. So this is the uh, for dependency library you have to download in your instance. So once you've downloaded it, when you go to your folder, vendor, bin. So here you can see there is a new file called phpcs. So we are going to use this vendor bin php cs and uh, the folder for which folder we need to run this command so i'm going to run this for custom module custom so here you can see it's listing some list of errors right it's around 66 errors and one so the all these errors are coming based on the php standards not by uh, not a drupal standard so to do it with the Drupal coding standard, what do you have to do? You have to go to your uh, file structure. So this is the root of your module, sorry. This is the root of your Drupal instance. So here you have to create a new file called phpcs.xml, okay, phpcs.xml. So next, what you have to do? You have to go to the repository of phpcs and here, you can see there is a file called phpcs.xml. So you have to copy the full content inside and pasting here. So uh, here we are uh, mentioning the installed path here, right? Uh, no longer this is required now. So I'm going to remove this. And uh, what this phpcs is going to do. So this is going to do to check standard of Drupal practice and Drupal. And what are the files should get ignored? CSS md and text file and this validation is for which folder i currently configured module custom and theme custom folder okay i saved it so let's go to your uh, terminal again so now you no need to mention your custom path you just need to mention only php cs so it's saying web module custom is not exist okay okay uh, i don't have web folder in my instance so this is not required so let's save it and go to there and run. Saying themes custom is not there, okay? So let's see themes. Okay, there is no custom folder. So I'm just going to create a empty folder. You can remove that line also. So we created folder there now. Run the command again. So now you can see the error. It's throwing the error, right? This throwing some 42 errors and three warnings, right? So you can uh, fix it by using one more command. That is PHP CBF. So let's do that CBF. So what it will do, it will do beautify your code. It will also fix some of the issues, some of the error which is throwing here. So let's run it. So a total of uh, 42 error were fixed to one file. Okay, let's run the PHP CS again. So now you can see it's reduced to five errors, right? So this is uh, this is how the PHP CBF is working. Remaining, you have to go manually and you have to fix all the errors, okay? And this is how you need to configure PHP CS in your Drupal instance, okay? And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, bye.